What defines how good a video game is? Is it gameplay? Is it features? Or is it graphics? With the dawn of every new piece of gaming hardware, there's a laser focus on a single aspect of the gaming experience in graphics. There's no doubt that impressive graphics have an effect on the level of immersion we experience when enjoying a game, but are graphics really all that important? Would we enjoy a Horizon or a Hellblade game if they weren't so pretty? If you look at the state of the only sustainable, successful corner of the gaming industry, indie games, you'll find that the answer is usually, nah, not really. While there are graphically impressive indie games available, the majority of them seem to be outrageously fun and memorable titles that rely on pixel art or other lo-fi aesthetics for their primary presentation. Hell, the entire point of this Hyperverse thing was to cover the indie and double-A scene because, frankly, that's where the ingenuity is nowadays. And you know we have a special soft spot for shooters. But also, let's not forget about Nintendo, who aside from the most recent Zelda games, aren't known for churning out impressive or lifelike graphics or engaging in the graphics arms race. Link! Oh, dying. Kiss me. As far as we're concerned, high-end graphics are nice, but not necessarily important when it comes to enjoyment. We're going to remember the first time we played Dusk long after we forget what happened in the intro to Horizon Zero Dawn. And that has nothing to do with how either game looks. On Dusk, it's also surprisingly effective how lower poly games can also be just as scary as the realistic ones. So what's your favorite game for its graphics? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Visit the S35 Network merch store and use code S35NETWORK for 10% off your order.